Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree Zarts. Okay, everybody. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about today's video. Not only is it my very first brand new content video of 2023, but I'm also taking part in a Valentine's Day playlist that is hosted by Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs. So if you're looking for some Valentine's Day inspiration, holy schmole do you need to check out this playlist because there are a ton of talented creators that will be down there to inspire you. So I'm really pumped to get into this video and I hope you guys are too. And with all of that being said, let's get into the first DIY. And here we go with DIY number one. So I am going to use one of these hanging shelves that you can get at the Dollar Tree. They do come in two sizes. This is the larger size. So, you know, just unwrap it. Make sure you keep the string in the little ring for a future project. And what I'm going to do is use one of these love decor pieces also from the Dollar Tree and just figure out, you know, how long it is and cut those sides off. I did use my miter box to do that and everything lined up just perfectly. Now, just removing that little um, wreath from the O there and taking off the glue. The glue came off fairly easily, but you'll see what I do here. Um, this, was, this was interesting to try to do this. So what I wanted to do is take off the O of love. And at first I'm using just a, a craft knife and going through the cardboard in the back and it went through pretty good you know and then I grabbed my box cutter because it wasn't going as smoothly as I would have liked but the front of this is metal so obviously the box cutter would not go through it and see I'm going back and forth using you know my craft knife and then the box cutter and whatnot to get that O off so snip 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 you know trying to figure it out what am I gonna do to cut this thing so that I <laughs> so then I grab a little saw blade and I'm sawing <laughs> and that worked pretty good you know but I had to get through this metal so I just grabbed my wire cutters and it worked like a dream you guys I just clipped right through that metal and then you can see I take it off there and I also do that to the other side. So it did come off no problem. And now I'm using my Antique Wax by Waverly. Look at that transition. Did you see that? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Magic. And I just painted up that board first with my Antique Wax and then I am taking some white chalk paint and my chippy brush and just doing a very, very rough coat because I still want to see some of that antique wax poking through the white there. So, you know, just a rough coat, you know, make it look nice and rustic. And uh, yeah, just going back and forth with that old chippy brush. And make sure you hit the sides and I do paint the back as well with the white chalk paint. There we go. And just using my hot glue, I am going to glue our little uh, wood board there to the love. So placing that on there, making sure it's nice and centered and voila, look at this. Oh, it's so cute. Love, love, love. <laughs> And now I'm using these two hearts. They're both from the Dollar Tree. Um, to be quite honest, I haven't even been to the Dollar Tree in a really, really long time. I'm trying to craft my stash. So hopefully they have these hearts in stock. If not, you can use any hearts that you want. So the smaller heart I did paint up with my Imperial Red by Folk Art. Um, it's called Imperial Red because of Star Wars. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> And then I painted just the outside of that other heart with my black and then just taking my chippy brush throwing just a tiny bit of white on there just to distress it down and then hot gluing those two hearts together and that is gonna be our O on our love sign so just lining it up you know throwing some hot glue on there putting it at an angle and look at how cute that is isn't that just oh it's so, so pretty. 
And now I cut this deco off on my Cricut. It says, so this is, so the sign says, so this is love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me what movie that's from. What movie is that from you guys? And there we go. So of course, you know, I'm a little bit extra, wanted to put one more detail on here. And you guys know I love these grapevine hearts. So I hot glued that on top of the other hearts. And that is it, you guys. Isn't it so pretty? How's it going? How are you liking the video? Do you like the video so far? I really hope that you do. And I'm just popping in here really quickly to remind you that if you like home decor in a budget, stuff that looks, you know, high end, like you bought it in a really expensive store, but you know, don't tell anybody, but you made it yourself out of Dollar Tree items, holla, then you have come to the right place. So make sure you tap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure your notification bell is set to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And of course, like usual, you guys, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my breezers out there, all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and everybody in between. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. It's been almost two years and whoa, what a ride. So thank you so much to all of you. You know how much I love you. And, and with all of that being said, let's get back into those DIYs. And jumping right into DIY number two. So what I'm going to do here, I got this uh, wood plank sign from Dollarama and I just cut off the bottom plank because I didn't need the whole thing. And I'm just going to shablam, paint that up with my antique wax and then do the exact same thing that I did um, in the previous DIY, just using my chippy brush and going over that with my white chalk paint just to make it nice and distressed. And you can see there, I didn't do the back. I wasn't concerned about it. If you wanna do the back, you do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> and then I'm just sanding it down just a little bit. Sometimes these planks are a little bit rough, so just wanted to get rid of some of the splinters and whatnot that were in there. And then of course, these grapevine hearts, I am obsessed. I was obsessed last year, that obsession continues. So I'm just going to use three of them and you know, just do them kind of willy nilly back and forth, trying to place them, figure them out, how exactly I want them to uh, look on my sign. And then just grabbing some hot glue and putting it on the points where the grapevine hearts actually meet the wood. Um, they're sometimes kind of wonky, so you can manipulate them just a little bit as well. But you do want to make sure, obviously, that you put the glue on the spots where it's going to touch the wood. You know? You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> and here we go. So all of those are all on there. And you can see as well that I did place the center one on top of the other two. And now using this little jar, I guess it is. Um, I believe it came in a three pack at Dollar Tree. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I am crafting my stash. So I'm not sure how many came in the package. I think it was three. And I'm just roughing it up with my sanding block because we are going to paint this and this will definitely help the paint adhere to that plastic surface. And now I just grabbed my black chalk paint and some baking soda. We're gonna make that jar look kind of concrete. So mixing that all up. Now I did this fairly thick. You can do it however you want. Um, if you want more texture, you put more 
baking soda into your paint. And I'm just painting that up. Now you will notice as well that as I'm painting this, I do leave a strip completely unpainted and you will see why because obviously we do have to attach this jar to our signs so there has to be a surface for that and what I did here I did one coat I dried it up with my heat gun very carefully because it is plastic you don't want to melt it did another coat and then you can see I am placing some hot glue on that strip that I did not paint and putting it onto my sign, just like that. Look at that. And now looking at this, I kind of wish that I would have distressed that down a little bit. I think that would look really nice actually if you know you take some of your um, white chalk paint in your chippy brush and just really like gingerly dry brush. I think that would look really pretty. And this rose I got from Dollarama, I'm just putting a little bit of that uh, Spanish moss inside the jar and look at that it's so pretty i think it's so romantic oh it's just absolutely lovely one you guys DIY number three okay so I got a whole schwack of corks from a friend of mine and what I'm doing here is oof, 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 I'm just lining them up because we are going to make a cork heart I love this project so much you guys and these are all used corks so some of them have like this the red stain from like the red wine and and whatnot so I really think that this came out so beautifully with all the different colors of the cork some look kind of pink some are really really dark uh, burgundy like legit this is absolutely gorgeous so I'm just lining these all up now if you want to make your cork heart um, a little bit bigger obviously you're going to need an, uh, an odd number or is an even number of um, of corks right so going around and then I'm just kind of switching them up you know making sure that everything looks good and here we go so super super easy you guys just taking some hot glue going along the cork and we're just going to hot glue all of these corks together. I saw this actually on a whole bunch of posts on Pinterest and I was just like, man, that is absolutely beautiful, beautiful. So if you have a whole bunch of corks just laying around waiting to, you know, make something beautiful, here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so easy so again all I'm doing is hot gluing these bad boys together all the way around another one and a hot glue and throwing that on there and you just keep it on your mat um, in the shape that you want so you don't lose the shape obviously right because you want to make sure it looks like a heart when you're all done and here I am adhering the final corks together now of course with it just being held together with hot glue it is going to need a titch more stability right so we're gonna we're gonna take care of that don't you worry and actually this would be really pretty like on a sign on the wall um, even as a wreath like oh you could do so many things with these wine corks and there we go so you can see it is somewhat solid um, but I definitely wanted it to have a lot more stability and you'll see why so what I'm doing here is just taking these um, bamboo skewers that I got skewers sorry <laughs> 
can't speak, uh, skewers that I got off of Amazon. And I'm just cutting them down and then hot gluing a whole bunch of the corks together on the back so that this is nice and stable and it's not just gonna bust apart on you. And of course, when you're going around the curve, you do have to use smaller pieces, but that's okay. Like it's, it's just added security for these corks. And glue, 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 and put on our skewer and rock and roll. There we go. They're all secured on there. And look, you can't even see them. All right, so again, using these roses that I got at Dollarama. Um, I'm sure they have them at Dollar Tree too, you guys. Very similar. I just find that Dollarama stuff is a little bit more high quality and it is more expensive. Like, I think I paid $3 for that bundle of roses, whereas at the Dollar Tree, you can get them for a buck 50 or a dollar 25 down in the States, right? And I'm just using a little bit of this baby's breath. Um, I think I got that at Dollar Tree. I would say Dollar Tree. And I'm just placing a few of these roses inside my cork heart. It's, oh my gosh, oh, it's so pretty. It's so elegant. It's so romantic. It's just, I can't even, I can't even say how beautiful this came out. This is definitely my favorite, you guys. Definitely of this video. This is the one. Look at how gorgeous that is. everyone that is it for today's video i really hope that you enjoyed these projects today and it inspires you to make something a little bit romantic for valentine's day this year and keep in mind these aren't just for valentine's day you can have these up in your house all year long make sure you check my description box for a link to the playlist for way more inspiration for Valentine's Day. And I wanna send a shout out to Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs for hosting this playlist today. Now, of course, you guys, if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. And welcome back to a brilliance. That's my that's my party. It's a party. We're partying. It's a party up in here. I have to get a new tripod. Cuz my camera, my DSLR camera is messed. Like I can't upload the the videos from it like it won't go onto my mac which is oh crazy uh, frustrating and annoying but that's okay we'll deal we'll deal we're good it's fine we'll just have to film on my phone <laughs> so if you are <laughs> okay check out this playlist because there are going to be so many talented creators that are going to bring you, that are going to bring you, going to bring hair in check, lips in check, lips matching shirt, check. Well, I had, eh? Not too shabby. Having some issues and I have a glare. Can you see it? There's a glare coming up from the floor because the sun is right in a spot. Um, please hold. Is that a little bit better? Is that better? That is definitely a little bit better.
<laughs> well, anywho, you guys.